You know, right now there's there's the big event, Tonga, that we've been seeing take place. And I do want to to read this to you. CNN put it out. Tonga faces unprecedented disaster as New Zealand warns further eruptions of tsunami risk. The Tonga prime minister said all houses on the island of Mango were uh, completely destroyed. Let me ask you before you move on, Brother Jonathan, first, what do you make when you see a mega explosion of this kind that for the first time in history probably has been captured through satellites in space. What do you make of that? How do you interpret that spiritually speaking? Because this, the whole world has watched it. Well, it's frightening to see. And I think just the reality that the whole world can watch it at once is, is connected to the scenario that I see in scripture of the last days. Uh, there's always been natural disasters that have, that have uh, in some cases, been devastating to geographic areas of the planet. But I think the Bible's very clear when I read it uh, concerning the last days that the intensity and the frequency increases. And it's, it, it's part of the birth pang process where natural disasters like this uh, become more uh, uh, devastating. They grab more attention and uh, they continue to pick up in frequency. And that's what we're, I believe, the time we're entering into. That was, to watch that, I just felt, I mean, I could feel it in my gut. And th th we're going to see more and more of these. I think they're going to get more devastating. They're going to get, uh, uh, they're going to become more regular. And I'm afraid that we're just going to start to take them for granted, right? As, as more natural disasters occur, we just settle in and we become passive, but it is a very clear sign of the last days. Wow. Yeah. No, absolutely. And, and on prior programming, we've talked about these things as well. And I use the illustration of the domino line. You know, Genesis 3.15, God declares, okay, from the womb of a woman it's coming. And the domino started. And they go through the generations. The key word is, is, is unprecedented. And so we are now the generation that has seen the return of prophetic Israel, a 2,600-year-old prophecy, and now the return of Jerusalem to Israel, then the explosion of technology, all of these things that are happening. And in the midst of this, and you were saying a couple of programs back, uh, John, that apparently a, a, a volcanic eruption in the ocean of this magnitude, the last time that happened was 1,000 years ago. Well, there is a biblical number. And so here we come into the only generation that has seen the return of Israel, seen the return of Jerusalem, watched the technology explode to the point that the whole world sees it at once. See, that's for, right out of the book of Revelation. That's right out of the book of Daniel, for example. And so when you live in a generation where not one or two dominoes has fallen along the line, but when a dozen of them have fallen and they continue to fall, then you know I mean, those of us that have the Holy Spirit and know the Word of God, we know the times. We can discern the season. I don't set dates. I don't think anybody here does. But we know the season. And this is what I try, I'm try. i trying to wake the church up, as you guys are, to the, to the point that, look, you, you don't have to be cr you know, crazy about this and set dates and make all of these predictions like that. But just know that we are living in the most prophetic time since the first coming of Jesus Christ. And so when you see this happen, once every 1,000 years, and then it happens right now at the turn of this new year, right in the midst of all of the global turmoil. And now for the first time in history, the globe is, all the nations are almost speaking with one voice, you know, and shutting down churches and shutting down whole cultures and societies and putting rules and regulations and stepping on their own constitutions and the rule of law being thrown down. And then in the middle of that, we start a new year, Pastor Jim says, look, you, you look for things that look like nuclear explosions. <laughs> and we round the corner and from space, you know, the first generation that could do this, instantly this, this nuclear bomb looking explosion erupts from the ocean floor and the whole world within seconds is looking at it and talking about it's it. It's unprecedented. That is unprecedented. That's it, why we are living It's unprecedented. But I think I want to add this. Remember one thing, everyone. This is so important. We have the technology to see this around the world. Yes. So we don't have the technology to stop it from happening. Yeah. Ooh. 
think about that wow. as things escalate. 